up guys back for another one as you guys saw in the last video we got the trailing arms on and uh, I got pretty much the whole rear end torqued up almost I didn't do the axles but I can't do the axles until I put the calipers on so I'm gonna go ahead and slap the calipers on and then uh, all the connectors for that uh, the brake line and then from there I can stick a, uh, a flathead in the rotor as it rests up against the caliper so I can uh, torque all the axle bolts down I think from there, I can put the fender liners in, and then uh, the struts, or the struts and the fender liners, either way, I can get everything else in the back end done, basically, enough to put the car on the ground, take a look at the alignment. I can tell already that the toe is like way in, so I'm going adjust, to adjust it to a point where it looks about normal, the way it'll be decently drivable once uh, the engine and trans is here and in and then uh, I'll tighten up those as well but I need to get this car on the ground because as the car sits I can't get the attic door all the way down I have a bunch of stuff up there I need to sell and get rid of and I gotta pull down some panels uh, for the floors in here to replace um, I got a buyer on the house so I need to get everything out of this garage and move it over to the other house um, here within the next couple of weeks, so it's gonna be busy 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 next couple of weeks But uh need to be able to get this car on the ground and on the trailer and moved over so We're gonna get it done today Well, it's been a hot minute since I started I got this whole one side done um, Wasn't too bad. I had to I did change the toe a little bit. I You know just getting all the tools out and getting this stuff all I know was ugly, but for now, I need to get the fender liner in, and that's it. And I had to like redo the uh, cable ties here for the uh, electrical lines going to everything. Uh, let me make sure all that's plugged in. And just find which ways, and then find all the torque values on everything. You know, it, it takes a minute. So this side is fresh. I got all the tools I used over here, so this side shouldn't take me as long. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, cut these zip ties, get the brake caliper on, get the brake line on. And then we'll reroute uh, the electrical connector. I'll show you guys all this stuff. So hopefully it won't bore you too much. All right, let's get started with the brakes here. Unhook this and I'll chop these zip ties off. Really all of this is pretty simple. Uh, you got two bolts to go in. I'm gonna slide it on. It really only goes on one spot. There's a cutout here on the back in the heat shield, or the dust shield, whatever you wanna call it this over the slide that baby on I didn't have any problems aligning it on the other side I just pretty much popped right into place boom I got my bag of oh I already got them I'm going to throw some more blue Loctite on these um, really you're supposed to replace them I forgot to order them I'm going to put it on my list next time I do a brake job they'll get replaced and the tool is a T14. So go ahead and slap one in. I did run into an issue with the other side, which I'm gonna run into now. <laughs> Dang it. Um, the control arm is kind of in the way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the jack under here and I'll show you guys. But the control arm is in the way of getting this bolt in. So I gotta jack up the suspension to level it out so you can slip the bolt in. Okay, you see right here where the blue is, and you got the control arm right there. So trying to put this bolt in, trying to hold the camera and do this is almost impossible. It can't go in because the control arm's in the way. So I gotta jack it up ever so slightly, and it should slip right on in. I'm an idiot. Disregard that. I had to lower it some. I had to pull down on it. I don't know what I was thinking. Raising it just makes less clearance. So I just had to pull down on it a little bit. And it slipped right in. Next up on the list is the brake line. Uh, I'm gonna pop this cap off, slam this on, takes a 17 and 11, tighten it down, slam it in the bracket, then uh, use your little other bracket, which keeps the line from moving out of the actual solid bracket here. Sorry if I'm confusing names, I'm just trying to get work done. It's weird not working with music now, I can't have music on because I get demonetized, so I'm just trying to chug along here. 
hopefully it's not too too dark so pull the cap off grab this bad boy give her a thread or two all right then I'll just I gotta figure out what position it like pops down in right about there come on it's kind of a pain in the butt there we go I bent it a little bit I'll bend it back then you'll take your little little clip uh, we can get in the frame boom and it slides right under it this one's kind of a pain it's like a pressure clip so it's there we go boom now it's in now I'll put the 17 up here 11 down here tighten it right on up so next up kind of hard to show but just to get these uh, connectors in right but this is like kind of hard to get in because there's not much slack on this so I got to loosen up the screws here on the back side which you guys probably can't see at all at all you can see uh geez, right there and right there and then loosen those up pull some slack out that way uh, I got slack or the proper amount of room up here because it, it wants to like bind up so fix that get them all plugged in and uh, then we can do the rotor or the the axle so I got all that bracketry dealt with um, I'm grabbing the toe arm under here and turning it and I, I put this bar here so you can kind of tell how the toe toe is basically left to right and I want a little bit of toe out um, <laughs> helps the car rotate so I'll sit here and turn it until well that's the wrong one it's going out a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera at all. But as I'm turning this bar, till the whole whole assembly here is starting to rotate out. And I can grab it, you know, and go back in. So just nothing spectacular. Definitely not going to be accurate. But at least it gives me a little bit of something. Just a tad bit more. And as I think as I change camber, this might change a tad. But with the new suspension setup, at least like on the old suspension setup, when you change camber, it changes toe or vice versa. So, or camber at least. When you change camber, it'll definitely change toe. So I don't think it's going to do that with, with the way these new arms are set up. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. We're going to find out. getting dark now but uh all those damn axle bolts tight such a pain in the ass especially with the level sensor in a way i should have just disconnected it but 30 foot pounds about on all of those that's done uh pretty much only thing left is to uh finish routing the cable up here tighten this bracket and throw on the strut and this side is way easier to put the strut on because it's not that whole canister bull crap in the way so we'll do that real quick Got this router where it's supposed to be. Got those allens on either side, nice and tight. About to throw the strut in, then we'll wrap uh, the cable around. Call it a day. I'm excited. All right, we got the strut in. I said ugly zip ties. It's temporary, but uh, everything's in. Everything's tight. About to, uh, about to throw these wheels on. Get the car on the ground for the first time in a very long time. Then I can finally have access. To the attic like I was saying seriously I'm back back here looking at the hatch I can just not wait to that carbon hatch is here at least I'll be able to stare at it a little bit before I wrap it but man man oh man <laughs> don't make fun of me too bad my eyeball alignment was absolutely horrible this looks rough this looks like a retarded vault <laughs> look at that look at how much toe we got there. It looks um, like one of those passants that you find from the junkyard. Doesn't yeah, like so we them. need hey, more camber, less on. toe. You're not. Oh my gosh. Like okay. Alright, so uh, take two here. Doesn't look too bad. Toe looks about where I'd normally have it, I think. 
Question think. mark? We'll definitely see it in an alignment shop. Or I might, like I said, I might buy an alignment kit and just start doing my own alignments at home. It's going to save me money. Definitely too much camber or too much tow on this side. You can see how that sits. But camera doesn't look too bad. Probably about two and a half degrees on this side. Looking here, it's probably closer to two on this side. So hmm. she is so dirty. All right. Well, hopefully this was a decent video. Car is officially back on the ground. Stuff and everything is installed. Just needs an alignment and the brakes bled and the fender liners on for the rear. That's for the front. Uh, all the rest of my trans stuff got today to the trans builder, the LSD, the bell housing, the ARP hardware, the bevel box, um, the diff, did I say diff, whatever. The gears should have already arrived this week and went in, I'm not sure, I should get an update on Monday. Um, I should throw that in the end of this video because you're not seeing this till a week after I already did this stuff. So by now, the motor should be pretty much taken apart, piston should be out, head should be off, so check the Instagram if you want to... Uh, look forward in time to see what you have looking forward to. So. That's all I got. I'm tired, dirty, and I got a new iPhone to play with. So, thanks for watching. Drop a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.